to pee as we look for Minnesota's hottest hot dish this week. After the break, we're in the kitchen making a tasty chicken and cheese dish you're gonna love. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It is a delicious week on the Fox 9 Morning News as we feature Minnesota's hottest hot dishes. All this week, we're featuring the five winners of our hot dish contest cooking right here in our Fox 9 kitchen. And joining us this morning is Frank Ross from Wisconsin. Good to have you here, Hello, Frank. Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, you were telling, first off, we got to tell the good folks, you're, you're making a homestyle chicken and cheese pot pie, yes, I am. which sounds great. Uh, this is incredible. You've lost more than 100 pounds. More than 140 pounds since November 2008. Tell us how you've done it. Well, I, when I looked at all my recipes, I used to make recipes that were very heavy in fat, and I figured out you could convert them to low fat and low calorie, but they wouldn't be boring. And this is one of the recipes I actually cook and one of the recipes I've been eating, and it's helped me lose the weight. Good for you, and congratulations. Well, thank you very much. It's a lot of hard work, but it's worth it. Absolutely, uh, and this is great. So this is a, one of those great hot dishes that sounds terrific, and it's even better for us because it's heart healthy. It's heart healthy. Uh, you can adjust it however you want to. I use a lot of fat-free products mm -hmm. in it, but one of the things about it also, you can use leftovers or anything that's in your fridge, and it's great for no-name products because everything that they have, you can convert into a... Sure. Right, let's get to it. Let's. Make it's real easy. So yeah. well, I'm gonna have you start first. All right, okay? sure. Okay. Over here, if you can roll out uh, dough in here and oh, kind of press we it got in, we trouble already. I can tell. You. All right. <laughs> roll. You now, you mean just, just like peel unroll it? it. Yep. Just oh. kind of peel it like an apple and just kind of do that. All right. And we're gonna start with about a cup of chicken. And we've taken the chicken. You defrost, of course, and make sure it's cooked all the way through. You know, when you roll out the dough, you make do it slow. That's, That's right. What roll I've the heard. dough slow. All right. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put in a cup of potatoes. Mess it up. I'm it sorry. Good. Don't worry about it because we're going to cover it with the top. You won't even see it. Put in a cup of carrots. <laughs> and here we have some green beans and corn. Okay. And again, remember if you have leftovers in the fridge, it's a great way to use them up. Yeah. And we're going to add a little bit of cheese here. Mm -hmm. And what kind of cheese? A lot of cheddar and well, looks like some white cheese. Seeing as I'm from Wisconsin, it's good old fashioned Wisconsin cheese. Yeah, well. Minnesota cheese is great too. All so right. It'll do it in a pinch. pinch. Okay. All right. All right. And then while I'm doing this, if you can sprinkle some of that cheese in the bottom yeah. of your pie dish. Oh. And like. about a quarter cup of celery. Mm -hmm. Now, th and this cheese, just in looking at it, I can tell this is a low-fat cheese. Actually, this is a low-fat yeah. cheese, yes, because it has that nice crumble to it. Mm -hmm. It's going to melt real well, too. I use Kraft because Kraft makes a great low-fat and no-fat cheese. Okay. And a little bit of garlic powder. Get every bit of cheese. I love the well, cheese. Onion powder. Yeah, cheese is great for you. Mm -hmm. And then a little salt and pepper, of okay. course. And then I use a fat-free, low-sodium cream of chicken soup. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just put that in there. Kind of gives it the nice creamy yep. texture in your yep. hot dish. And I'm going to have you do this because I'm going to show you how it just, it's very easy. Just right. kind of mix it together. Mix it on up. All just right. kind of stir it all together. Okay. All right. Give it a real good stir. Not that. All right. You're doing great. That looks good. Oh, it is. It's fantastic. And this way you get your, kind of your, all your main food groups here in one yep. dish. The kids and are happy, you're happy, and no muss, no fuss. And one fourth of this pie is only 460 calories. Okay. And Are we ready to put fat. this in? It sure is. Okay. I'll bring just this Just kind of give it another real quick stir. Okay. And you put the pan right down yep. here. And just pour it in. You might have a little bit more than what you need. And just save it for your next pot pie. And just kind of. We like extra. That's always a good thing. Yep. The nice thing about these is you can make them in advance and freeze them. Mm -hmm. You got a quick dinner when you come home. Because oh, that sure. would, it's not a conventional, you know, hot dish as you and I would probably call a hot dish. Right. But it is because it uses up the leftovers. It's easy and it's economical. Is this the topper? Am I going to roll That's this That's the topper. Out? Unroll mm -hmm. that and put it right on top. All right. And look at that. <laughs> Perfect. All just right. And we need to get to the finished product. Side. Pinch it and ready Pinch to go. Pinch the side. You're all right. set to go. And I'll bring out the finished product. Yep. Get over here. And here we go. Oh, well, look That's at what it looks that. like. That's a thing of beauty. Now, what did you put on top like. to give that That's a little Parmesan. Parmesan. A little, little olive oil spray or oh, little vegetable man. spray and Parmesan. And if you grab your plate. Yeah. That, oh man, I, that smells terrific too. And, and the uh, the dough you used is it somewhat uh, low calorie as well? Uh, the dough, no, the dough is not going to be as low calorie unless okay. you make it yourself. But I like to have it because I like the sweet and the savor. I agree. Yeah. All right. Uh, love. See so you pop. think. All right. Uh, I'll try it real quick. Okay. Excellent. Mm-hmm. That's right good hot, hot dish. On top of a little sour cream or anything you want to put on top of it. Excellent. Frank, great job. Nice meeting you. Thank you very Frank much. Frank Ross, thanks so much. Thanks for your opportunity. One of our friends in Wisconsin, if you would like the recipe for Frank's chicken and cheese pot pie, you can log on to our website, myfox9.com. Click on the Morning Show tab, then on In the Kitchen. Look for more hot dish recipes throughout the rest of the week.
It's my pot pie. It's more like, <laughs> you can't have it. My pot pie. Over to you. <laughs> you just keep on eating that one, Tom. It's really good. I bet it is. We got a blue sky out there this morning.